Following Mill Creek Township's general authorities' plans on demolishing five properties that they purchased on West 8th Street, residents have been showing support for the decision as well as voicing some concerns. One building, which most recently was called Grasshopper, has been there since the 1800s. And some are saying it actually used to be a schoolhouse. And our Philip Ward got a chance to go inside the building with one Mill Creek supervisor and township residents. Philip, what have they been telling you and what ultimately is the goal? Good evening, Mike. Well, not just a group of Mill Creek residents. This is a group that is now calling themselves citizens in support of saving the schoolhouse. And as they've been telling me, that's exactly what they intend on doing. In this county, there are so few buildings that date to the Civil War era. This one is one of them. You've probably seen this building before and know it as Grasshopper. It's one of the five buildings that Mill Creek Township General Authority voted on buying and demolishing. But a group of citizens in Mill Creek say this building used to be a schoolhouse in the 1800s and should not be destroyed. It is a sad thing that Mill Creek has such little interest in saving historic buildings. Mill Creek Township Supervisor Jim Bach agrees and even gave them a chance to look inside. This is not This can be brought back. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing, Philip, uh, learning a lot about this building. Quite a grassroots effort of concerned residents for this uh, building here on 8th Street. And they voiced their concerns at Tuesday's supervisors' meeting. Let's see if we can at least save the school. That school building stands uh, really for three quarters of this township's history. Mill Creek resident Mary Ellen Majock says if you don't have history, then... It's just anywhere USA. So preserving this building helps document what happened in Mill Creek when it was formed. Supervisor Jim Bach says he still has hope for the building. I think you could see this area revitalized again. I think you bring in the pro, you know, you bring in an architect, you bring in a preservationist, somebody that, that has a vision for this rather than a wrecking ball. Now the Mill Creek Township General Authority is the group that voted on buying the five properties. Next Tuesday, they will be having a special public meeting at their municipal building at 7.30 in the evening, and I have a feeling that some from that group will be in attendance. Live in the studio, Philip Ward, Erie News Now.